Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day in my life. I'm sorry if I'm whispering. I'm trying to be really quiet because it's early in the morning. It's around 7, 10 right now. I'm getting ready to leave for class. I wanted to get the um, campus a little early so I knew I would have a good spot and because I want to try and print something in the library before class. I'm going to work out and go to the grocery store after class, but my outfit is the shirt from Romway, my Lululemon um, Fast and Free leggings, and my Adidas Club from shoes. It's supposed to rain, so I'm probably going to throw on a rain jacket and it's kind of chilly but I don't know what jacket I'm wearing yet. I'm about to head off to class, but I used my Nespresso to make some iced coffee for the first time. Literally all I did was just stick this cup under the Nespresso, put a ton of ice cubes almost like practically to the top and then let the Nespresso go down. I put a little bit of the sugar-free vanilla syrup that I have and some of the almond milk creamer that I have. Um, not very much though, cause I had like no room at the top. And then I stuck it in the freezer and put a few more ice cubes in it and I stirred it a lot. I think that's the key to having iced coffee if it's actually like really hot when you first make it is to just stir it because it kind of like, I feel like just spreads the cold ice cubes out or whatever throughout the beverage. And um, yeah, I just stuck it in the freezer while I finished getting ready. So only for like five minutes, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'll like, I'll know how it is. Oh. So I just got back in my car from class. I'm about to head to the gym, even though I really don't feel like it because it's just so like chilly and cloudy outside. So I really just want to go lay in bed, but I have to go to the gym and grocery shop. So I'm going to go get that done. I'm going to try and make the um, gym as quick as I can. I'm just going to try and do like really intense workouts for a short amount of time and then head to the store. So I just got out of the gym. It's 9.52. I had a very good workout in 10 minutes on a stair stepper. I didn't do it on the traditional stair stepper where like it's like a conveyor belt stair. It's like the like two little steps and I hate that one. But I still did two minutes on it and then I did legs and abs. I'm so hot because like the gym felt a lot hotter than usual today. And also I'm working out in a cotton t-shirt which is like the worst thing on this planet but I didn't want to wear a tank top to class over my rain jacket because I knew I'd still be cold because it's like pretty chilly outside from the wind and everything. So yeah, it was really hot. And I'm headed to Aldi and then I'm going to Target. So I just got back in my car from Target and I spent so much money in there I could literally cry. I had to get a blender because mine is broken. I feel like I've already explained this on a vlog, but I don't really know. I have a Nutribullet and it's really old and it's really gross and it broke where the little plastic thing is that like clicks it in and holds it in while it blends. So you have to physically hold it there while it blends and it's really, really hard to get it in the right position to blend. So sometimes it's like really hard to get things to blend. And since I drink a protein smoothie every time I work out, which is like five times a week, it's annoying. So I really wanted a bigger blender and also because when I make like protein pancakes and stuff like out of bananas and oats, all the ingredients never fit in the Nutribullet because the Nutribullets are pretty small. So I wanted a bigger blender so I could fit everything in there. And I was gonna get a Ninja on Amazon on sale for $60, which is like pretty good for a Ninja. But I got an austere one, but it came with like a food chopper and slash food processor. So I had to buy that and then I had to buy a new frying pan because one of ours got like scorched and it's like ruined. And that was like, it was on sale for $13. So that was good because I got a really nice one. And then I got a spatula because ours are literally plastic and they've completely melted. So they like suck for making eggs and pancakes and stuff. So I got like a really thin like um, silver one and I just got really expensive food. Eating healthy is truly so expensive in college. Like I know it doesn't have to be, but like when you're thinking about the fact that like you're only wanting to eat good carbs and you're only wanting to eat like fruits, veggies and like really good meats. And I also got Lara Bar Bites. I'm excited to try these. I've seen Tori Sterling talk about them before. And one of my friends told me they weren't good, but then I've also had some of you guys tell me that they're good. So I'm gonna try them and they were a dollar off on cartwheels. So I'm gonna try them right now. You can kind of taste the dates, which I'm okay with, I guess, but I don't really like the powder on the outside. I don't like that texture, but they're really good other than that flavor wise. So this is the blender I got just to show y'all. Also got some paper towels from Aldi. I got gold potatoes for some potato soup this week, some lemons, onions, and apples. From Aldi, I also got this peach iced tea. It's sugar-free and zero calories, so just thought I wanted to try this. I don't know why. 
I got these lemonade packs that are also like sugar free and low calories. Got some raspberries, apples, strawberries, um, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, broccoli, and asparagus. I got some gluten free pretzels, skim milk, um, evaporated milk, some barbecue sauce. I think that's it from Aldi. Target, I got this frying pan. I told y'all about that in my car. I got a spatula. And then these are just some frozen turkey meatballs because I'm going to make some like meatballs with a crock pot tonight. I have some English muffins, and then I'm going to try out this bread. Um, my mom always buys Ezekiel bread at home, but I wanted to try those because it's 70 calories per slice, and I like thin sliced bread more than thick sliced bread because I'm weird, and I just, I don't know. I try not to eat a lot of bread, but I figured if I'm going to, it might as well be healthy. I got coconut flour, and I shouldn't have because I already have some here, and I forgot. got some band-aids because I have so many cuts on my hands right now. I got this cranberry um, sauce for the meatballs. I got some Annie's mac and cheese because it was on sale for 99 cents. And this one has like not a lot of sugar and I don't know, it just looked good. I got some light Alfredo to eat with my quinoa pasta. I had 75 cents off of um, this kind of yogurt, like one of them. So I wanted to try it because it actually has less sugar than Siggy's does. So I was pretty shocked about that. So I got this strawberry one. And then, or I got two strawberry ones, and I think I got two um, vanilla. Actually, I got three strawberries. Wow, okay. And then I got um, a raspberry Siggy's yogurt just because I wanted enough to last me this week. And I got this Justin's chocolate hazelnut butter, and I am so excited to try it because there's hardly any sugar in it. But I wasn't wrong. Just did some dishes and cleaned out my crock pot because my dinner tonight is gonna be made in the crock pot and I made a protein smoothie with my new blender that I just washed. So the blender works amazing, so super excited about that. So I just came into my room and turned on my little lights above my bed. My room is so cozy right now because it's raining outside. It's only 12 o'clock, so I feel so good because I've already been to class. I got a workout in, I've been to the grocery store, I did dishes. And my laundry is done, but I still have to fold it, so still gotta do that. It feels so good to have so much done already, but I am already exhausted. Hey. That's like whenever, the other day on your vlog, whenever um, Griffin was like, Hey, subscribers! Oh, yeah? <laughs> I didn't get you saying hey, though, because you, you started talking too early. Hey, friends. So I read a little bit of accounting and I've been FaceTiming Logan, but my MacBook case finally came in the mail. I literally ordered it like last Tuesday on Amazon Prime, but because of the snow and the ice and everything, it literally just got here today. So very late for Amazon Prime. But I just finished putting on the stickers. I don't like the way it looks when the apple is not lit, but when the apple is lit, I like it. Um, it's very busy. It's like so much going on, which I don't mind. I'm just not used to it, but I'm like... I can't figure out what I want to do with like these three because I've been like moving them around. A few of these are from my old laptop case. I'm sure y'all remember some of them. The wave one is, the watermelon, and then the adopt one is. And then this one is from um, a Pokeball place in Texas that I really liked and I just think it's a cute sticker. And I really like souvenir stickers. I love it. The case is from Amazon. It's just like a matte gray. I absolutely love it because it kind of looks like the actual MacBook itself, but it's not. And yeah, um, it was like $13 or $14 on Amazon. So. Go get you one. Mine always break after a few months, but I'm gonna try and be more careful with this one because this is my old one and it broke like right there and the sides of it broke, but I'm gonna try and be more careful this time. I've also been snacking on these gluten-free pretzel sticks that I got at Aldi today and this Justin's hazelnut butter. It is so good. It's so good, y'all. Like, yes, it was $7 at Target, which is ridiculous, but it was pretty filling. Like, I've hardly eaten anything today and I only had like a couple dips and I'm feeling kind of full and some lemon water of course i have to leave in like 10 minutes but i just made some of this annie's pasta that i got today i know it's not the healthiest but i've literally only had like the hazelnut butter and pretzels and an english muffin today so i'm kind of dying because it's like 4 15. i look like trash right now but i'm about to leave to go to class i want my suede and stones choker this is my wild fox pullover that i got from marshall's over christmas break it's just really transparent about my personality you know <laughs> and um my Lululemon leggings, um, and Steve Madden shoes. Hi guys, so I just got back in my car from class. It was literally 25 minutes long, so that was awesome. 
It's only supposed to be like, well, it's technically supposed to be an hour and 15 minutes, but she told us that she'll never go over 50 minutes unless we're doing like presentations. So that's really nice. But I'm just gonna chat with you all for a second and update you guys because I was kind of hanging out with Macy when I was at home earlier, so I didn't really vlog. I'm actually about to run back to the store. I think I'm gonna run into Publix though because it's like more like on the way and right by my place. But at the same time, Target's really not that far from me. So I'm just gonna figure it out later. So originally I was gonna get my nails done um, I have an interview on Friday morning, which I've literally said nothing about this because it was such a spontaneous decision. I'm interviewing for a business, um, like professional fraternity, and if you don't know what that is, it's like, it's not like sorority fraternity like you think it is, it's more of like a, um, major, like, college-specific fraternity. You have chapter every week like sororities and fraternities do. But um, the one that I'm applying for is more of like a networking one. So it helps me network with companies and people, meet more people um, in the business school and that kind of stuff. And I do have to pay for it if I do get into it, which is not like too big of a deal. I interview for it on Friday at 9.45 in the morning. And I was going to get my nails done, but I don't want to spend the money on my nails right now because that's like a 40 or $50 thing getting dip powder. And also because my nails are trash right now, which I know means I should get them done, but... I just have a lot of cuts on my fingers and stuff and I just don't want to go get them done. So I need to go get like a very like um, nude color and some base coat and top coat so I can do them myself so that they'll look okay on my interview on Friday. And also I have to go to meet the firms on the 30th so I probably won't get my nails done before then either. So whatever. So I need, to, I need to go get that stuff at the store too. But back to the whole interview thing, I decided like on two or three days before the due date for the applications and resumes that I wanted to apply to it. Um, I wasn't going to because I already feel like I have a lot on my plate this semester with my classes and YouTube and being a TA and having like proctor exams also with being a TA and then like church and hanging out with friends, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a lot. And then I'm also doing Lyft at the end of April and that's an hour away for four weeks on Friday. So I mean like that's a pretty big time commitment too. But I was talking to Julia about it because she's in this business fraternity and she was like wanting me to do it but i was like yeah i don't really know if i want to like be that committed to something because i feel like i'm really busy but at the same time i'm really not that busy like i can definitely handle more but i don't know I'm worried about putting too much on my plate but i was like what is one night going to do because the chapter meetings are actually on the night that i originally thought i had an accounting lab um but i don't even go to my accounting lab which i should and i actually might start going to it because i feel a lot of pressure to go to it for my professor because they're like you should really go and um, the people who go get A's and that just like makes me want to go but at the same time I really don't feel like I'm struggling in it right now so I don't really care to go that's totally besides the point but I had told Julia before that I really wanted to take advantage of opportunities that presented themselves to me or that I just found out about or anything because I keep thinking I have like three years left here and I'm like no I literally have not even I have the rest of this semester fall and spring of next year and then the next fall and I'm done so that's really not a lot of time that's um technically three and a half semesters and this is my fourth semester so I have less time left than what I've done which really freaks me out so because of that I was like let me just interview for this and if it's meant to be it'll be um if it's where I'm supposed to be it, it'll happen if I'm not supposed to be in it it won't happen I just thought it was something I could try for and I think networking is like so huge especially in business I'm someone who kind of like wants to be like a big firm in my 20s in a big city and working like that so in order for me to get to that status and be at like a big firm and stuff you it's really hard to like get there if you don't know anyone like you probably won't get there if you don't know anyone to be honest so networking is a huge 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 deal and I think it'll really help me with my professional skills because I'm definitely lacking in some areas with my professional skills and I'd always like to meet more people that are in the business school because I'm open to meeting more people because I love meeting new people and I used to not like meeting people but my personality has definitely done a 180 since I came to college and I love meeting people now. So yeah, that's what's going on and I pretty much just made a five minute talk about why I'm going back to the store. So I just got out of Target. I got heavy whipping cream, which is like what I really needed. Um, some more L'Oreal um, telescopic mascara because my tube has been dry for like an eternity and I've been avoiding buying it, but since I still have like $5 left from my gift card, I just went ahead and bought it. And I am completely out of the nail polish loop because I never paint my own nails and the only nail polish I have here in Tuscaloosa is literally a wet and wild gel nail polish, which was like 
three or four dollars at the drugstore but i wanted to try out um a different gel one because i like the wet mile one but it's really not that great like it's okay but i did my research while i was in the store and <laughs> i got this pack that's the sally hansen miracle gel it's a very it's like kind of like the color of your nail i like really like nail polishes like that that are like an off-white but they're just like very nude and plain and i figured that'd be like professional and everything and y'all may think i'm taking this like way overboard with an interview but i want my nails to look nice because you shake people's hands it has top coat in it and they were out of just the top coat there so this was the better deal because i think it was like 750 each if you bought them separate and this was 14 for both I think so the reviews on this said that they would lasted like two weeks if you put on two coats and the top coat finish up dinner I have the meatballs that I made in the crock pot and they should be ready But I'm gonna make like some veggies or something with it. So me Here's dinner We have meatballs white rice corn and veggies. Oh corn and veggies. Oh corn and veggies. Oh my <laughs> We have a lot of salt too. <laughs> These salt just literally exploded. Would you pull the top off? I think he did. We can put it back in there. No. Okay. Hey guys, so it's around like 8.15 now and my girlfriend and I just ran to Walmart because he was like, I need to get organized and stuff because I was just telling him how I have everything like written down on my planner and like how I was using Google Calendar and everything. And so we went to Walmart and got him a little like monthly spread planner so he can put all his dates in here and not feel so overwhelmed because we all know how that feels. Now he's at his place and um, he's picking up one of his textbooks and he's gonna come over for a little bit and do some homework. Shout out to whoever commented. I saw the notification, but I haven't like read all the comments on the video yet. I don't know, I even know what video she commented on, but I'm guessing it's the one I was talking about Google Calendar on. Cause she said you can link Blackboard to Google Calendar. So I told my roommate Griffin, I was like, OMG, you can like blackboard the Google Calendar. So she, we did that this evening too.